Hi friends, welcome back to Dirty Be Polynosia. So, as per last episode, I've decided to start doing something that, for that episode, seemed to work very, very well. Much more well for especially my brain than the last format has been, which was getting rather boring and tedious for me. Being able to play the loops as normal by myself without having to record and entertain on top of it, and then recording only the most exciting and new stuff and the, the events and things, both helps me actually think about how to get to there easier, because I guess I don't have the pressure of doing this stuff on top of it, but also it keeps the episodes shorter for y'all and also for my own sanity because editing man anywho friends i hope y'all enjoy this like comment subscribe if you'd like to that'd be very helpful and without further ado witness the magic of future dergy running into an event like it happened the moment i pressed this button even though that's not actually the case wow video magic yeah boy so wow um next event i reached sooner than i thought i would it only took two loops Actually, um, well, it's been, like, essentially two, because, like, it somehow saved on day one on the loop that I got the SQ event on, which is very strange, and I'm not sure why that happened, but, uh, either way, I'm happy about the fact that we finally are on to new events. Feels very, very, very Gucci. Extremely Gucci. But, uh, whoever this person is is not feeling very Gucci, apparently. Although I know it's Rakio, because we just saw them. And I know what this is, too, and, uh, this is the beginning of some pretty spooky implications about who or what we are as the player. So let's let's dig into that, eh? Uh, uh, it's happening to Rakio again. Rakio seems to have realized something and is giving off an aura of hatred. If only you could ask Rakio what, what that realization was. Uh, uh. They're just seemingly unable to do anything but go uh, in anger at me it's it seems like very all-consuming and a bit spooky and also speaking of yuriko that just disappeared how could she just fucking snap her fingers and here now you see something about Durgi that's apparently extremely distressing like <laughs> like and oh hey snaps fingers again how about you like i change your very makeup as a person and all of your skills and abilities Durgi? how about i just do that like, what are you, Yuriko? I really want to know. I have a feeling she has to do with Nos in a very... In a way that we're, she hasn't said. Because now we know that Nos are the people that the church has cyberized. I don't know if that was on purpose or what. So it seems like the church is possibly deliberately, at least at the top, of the church that Yuriko's part of. Or was part of before she got the fuck out of there. Is, it seems to be purposely wanting to end humanity. So it's more like a cult and not a church. So that's spooky. It seems to be what's happening. But I don't think Yuriko wanted a part of that. But for some reason she just has powers here. It's like, is she actually in control of the loop somehow? Is this like, are we being cyberized or something? Is, that, is this what cyberization is? She might still be actually one of the priestesses there and working on it. That's just a weird crack theory I have that I'm not sure if... I don't know if that... That's right, but there's something up with Yuriko. Especially since Rakio is apparently the one that had originally the object that allows us to loop. Why the fuck can Yuriko do the thing she's doing? How does that make sense? You'd think Rakio would have powers. Although, granted, apparently they'd have to have the key that we have in order to do that, so no. But, like, why can Yuriko do the things that she can do? I think this game is absolutely gonna explain that, but man, I really hope it does it soon. And I do not think I got to that point quite in my playthrough, but I might have... And if I remember that later when it happens, I'll tell you. But for the moment, I don't remember if I ever, and I don't think I did, get to the explanation as to why Yuriko is able to do these fucking outlandish, powerful things that she can do. <sighs> Gina was no Nusia. Yeah, of course y'all know Sia would say that. Except I think one of them might... No, yeah, oh, absolutely. One of them is absolutely the bug. Because there's only two Nosia. So one of them's the Nosia, the other one's the bug. I hope we get the bug before the Nosia, I just realized. And I have no clue how exactly to do that. You know what? It's Rakio! They're the bug! I just realized that! The bugs exist because of us as the player. I'm just gonna say that right out. Because... It's been hinted at already, but yeah, we need to be getting Rakio the fuck out of here. 
I do believe. Actually, no. I think we need to wait. We need to wait. We're gonna keep them around. I have a feeling that's what we need to do. I'm glad I thought about that for more than a second. So, we're gonna be doubting Shigamichi. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we're in the clear with that. Yeah, I think, honestly, yeah, we're gonna win right now. I think this might be set up for an easy bug win. Let's defend. Let's try to keep the doubt on Shigamichi. This is true, but honestly, I want to make sure that they're not as... Okay, yeah, I think... I think we are. I think we're in the clear there. Let's hope so. Yeah. Oh boy, let's read me here. I ended up unable to dispose of you after all. How uh, useless these Nosia are. Well, whatever. It's all over now anyway. Now you may finally be able to talk to Rakio. You might be able to ask about the realization Yuriko facilitated. Ah, uh, yes. So, Durgi, you didn't know anything about it, huh? Even though it was about you yourself? I see. How utterly laughable. You, and me as well. Well then, allow me to pose you a question. Something of a little riddle. Here it goes. Do you think it would be best to solve this problem correctly? Yes. You replied that yes, it would be best to solve it correctly. Congratulations, wrong answer. Yes, a problem best not solved. For you, in particular. As for why that is, you were supposed to have already disappeared. Think about it. Why do you think it was discovered that there was Nosia among the crew? Disappearance. You replied that maybe it was because someone had been eliminated. Exactly. In the beginning, it was you. The Nosia eliminated you. I was eliminated by the Nosia? Yes, you were the first victim. You disappeared long ago. But you're right here, and no one has noticed this inconsistency. Until Yuriko did what she did to me, not even I realized it. Just what the hell is going on? I'd also like to know that. You're brilliant, Rakio. Can you figure it out for me? Because I'd love to know. I've thought a lot about this inconsistency. The distortion Yuriko speaks of. This resulted in my gaining an important piece of knowledge. Namely, the reason the existence of bugs occurs. I've worked out the cause. As for the Nosia, that's not an issue. Their existence has long been confirmed throughout the universe. However, bugs are different. By simply existing, the universe is destroyed. <laughs> it's almost funny. Why is such a thing necessary? Well, it's because you exist. Oh boy, this is a definite screenshot moment here. This is the fucking thumbnail. Pretty much no question about it. Unless I s somehow find a better one, but I think this is very tonally appropriate. And also just a good drawing, because these artists deserve freaking medals, man. The whole art team behind this game. Or the whole art per if it's one person, broad fucking up. Whoever drew these especially. But I think even the UI and all the other uh, visual elements of the game are immaculate, so... The whole team, basically, but yeah. Even the backgrounds, I feel, are better than I feel like they are in a lot of visual novel-type things. Type games. Visual novel-styled games. You were supposed to have disappeared completely, yet you exist here. This goes against nature itself. A distortion which must be corrected. And so, the universe itself is rendered to never have existed in the first place. For this purpose, the thing we know as a bug came into existence. That's right, it's your fault. The strange feeling that something is terribly wrong. That's fittingly harsh for Rakio to say. Because, well, we know they're an asshole, but like, come on dude. It's probably pretty damn logical to them that I didn't have a choice in this. But they're saying it's literally my fault, which is stupid. Also, because of you, th this universe will be destroyed. So many good Rakio finger-pointing thumbnails. Oh, I like this one the best. And honestly, it's because it's terrifying. For some reason, this full screen, as I screenshot it, is the most terrifying fucking thing. And that's why I'm absolutely going to use this one as my thumbnail, unless somehow I find a one that I feel is even better somehow. I don't know, the whole aesthetic of this is very fittingly extremely horrifying. Also, I feel like the, the painting, like the colors on the edges of the screen are supposed to represent Rakio, maybe. Very interesting. Mm. It's interesting, it's like distorted on purpose, like pixely looking in places. And, yep, erased. 
So now I know my bugs exist. They're actually because we exist. That's fun. Are we considered a bug, but a different kind, maybe? So that's spooky. <laughs> Anywho, that concludes this episode. Because again, we'll get a whole event done. I end episodes. So I hope y'all have lovely, lovely days. And I will see y'all in my next episode, or perhaps my next stream. Right now, I'm streaming the Mass Effect trilogy. I'm still on Mass Effect 1 at 6 p.m. U.S. Central Standard Time. I think it's Central Standard. U.S. Central Time, I know that. Every night that I feel like it, essentially. And the plan is every night until the whole trilogy is done. But if I really feel like I need to take a break, I will. Um, or if I need to start it later, I will. Or something like that. But... Plan is, around 6 p.m., as I said, U.S. Central Standard Time every night. So I hope y'all join me for that. I also hope y'all enjoyed this, and like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see y'all in my next Peace old content, friends. So I hope y'all have lovely ones, be kind to each other, and have a good-ass motherfucking day. Hacky!